hi everyone hope you all are fine in today's video we are going to discuss aristotle he was one of plato's most brilliant student aristotle continued to study at the academy after that he founded his own school called the lyceum which had many teachers regular lecturers a substantial library and large natural science collections it is considered the world's first university Aristotle was the first philosopher who extensively treated many topics that were later become the part of psychology. In his vast writings he covered memory, sensation, sleep, dreams and learning. His book De Anima is considered to be the first history of psychology. Aristotle's contributions to psychology were truly impressive. He made contributions to every branch of knowledge with the exceptions of mathematics. the influence of his thoughts on such philosophical and scientific topics as logic metaphysics physics biology ethics politics and poetics have lasted to the present time it is often said that aristotle was the last human to know everything that was knowable during his lifetime like plato aristotle was also interested in essence or truths that went beyond the mere appearance of things According to Aristotle truth could become known by studying nature rationalism and empiricism Aristotle embraced both rationalism and empiricism he believed that mind can attain the knowledge and senses furnish the information as rational thought like Aristotle other philosophers have recognized and accepted importance of sensory experience and mental operations as well but Aristotle was more of a rationalist than an empiricist Aristotle emphasized careful examination of nature by observation and classification. Encyclopedia of Nature. In his Lyceum, an incredibly large number of observations of physical and biological phenomena were made. Then observations were categorized. By this method of observation, definition and classification, Aristotle compiled an Encyclopedia of Nature. He was interested in studying the things in the empirical world and learning their functions. As Aristotle explained several psychological phenomena in biological terms, he can be considered the first psychological psychologist. Causation theory. According to Aristotle's causation theory, for the understanding of anything, we must know four things about it, which are four causes. Number one is material cause. it is the kind of matter of which any object is made of number 2 is formal cause it is the particular form of an object number 3 is efficient cause it is the force that transforms the matter into a certain form number 4 is final cause it is the purpose for which an object exists final cause actually precedes the other three causes the final cause of living thing is part of their nature it exists as a potentiality from the origin in the organism aristotle also saw the final cause or purpose of something as its essence for aristotle a soul was that which gives life all living things possesses a soul and a living thing's potential is determined by the type of soul it possesses that's all for today we will discuss more about aristotle in the next video if you like the video do share it and don't forget to hit the subscribe